Okay. I'm here with uh, Dan, the creator, producer of a new lure called the Pigtail. And there it is. There we go. So what do you think about this, Dan? Well... Tell me I'm a little hoping, bit about the Pigtail. I'm hoping guys will like it. Um, I guess how it came about was you always get... It's, when you're out fishing and you're throwing, you're throwing your jerk baits in that, and you get slack in your line and you, and you get hooked up on the front and you're pulling your lure back in and your lure starts doing circles and you pull you pull it in faster you're upset because it's hooked up on your on your front hook and you get hit it seems like you always seem to get hit when you're hooked up on the front and uh, I don't know buddy year year and a half ago we were talking about that and the guy that's making my tight line um, sticks he says, uh, I made a lure 30 or 40 years ago that does circles in the water just like what you're talking about. So he went and got the thing and showed us and all kinds of ideas went off. It was like, wow, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a possibilities are endless. And we took that and we made, I got a whole pail full of, of lures that I've made of different sizes and different shapes. and. It all has to do with the tail. What we learned was the the tail is is what makes this all work. And what you do with the tail is if you tip your tail down, it does a real tight circle. If you tip your tail up, it does a deep circle. And uh, I'm talking with Ken right now, and we're looking at how to different woods to use and different ways of making it to where we find the right buoyancy to where we've got a lot of work to do with it as far as we've got lures made that sink we've got lures made that float and we've got a lot of work to do with them but this is this is the first edition and um, it does circles in the water like a dying fish and and we've all been fishing and throwing fish back in and watched how they did circles in the water and then they'll come back up on the top and they'll lay there on top and then the fish goes to go again and it goes down and it does a circle and it does another circle. And this does exactly what a dying fish does. Hmm. Well, we're out here at uh, one of our ponds and uh, I think we probably should throw that thing in the water and, and, and uh, check out and see what it does. Uh, we might even nail one of those big northerns that's out there in that pond. That's what we're hoping for. That's okay. why we're here today. Okay, so hold on. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what it does. Hold on a second now. We're ready to try it again. See it's swirling in the water. Dan's working it, spinning, and we know we've got a couple northerns out there. See if we can get some to go after it. What kind of different motions can you make with this, Dan? What can you make it do? Well, I tip the tail down so it does the real tight circle. And then you can let it sit on the top, and if you jerk it, look, usually if I'm in the boat, if you jerk it, it'll, you don't know what direction it's gonna go, but generally when I use it where I'm jerking it, I like to tip the tail up. I'll tip the tail up, and what that does is, it makes you go deep, Let it sit. See now we went real deep there.
Here we see the motion of the circular pattern that the lure is making. Okay, here we show the circular pattern, like the dying fish pattern that the lure makes. Kind of fun to fish with because it does have a lot of action. See, now we're making a bigger loop. Quite the action on this lure. Just trying to get a northern excited about it. Oh, we just had a hit. You might know it was one time I took the camera off. <laughs> That's where we got the one to bite. Just last cast. We got one. It's on. You were right on the splash. <laughs> you were right on the splash though, Ken. Yeah. Yeah, they like excitement, I think. There he's coming in. Dragging him through the mud. Well, guess what? It's a large mouth. A large mouth. Well, see, you can even catch a big large mouth on this lure. Oh, oh. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Good sized fish. Yeah. This is like a three pounder. <laughs> well, Dan, we, uh, you have a bass lure <laughs> in the works, right? Yeah, we got a four inch coming. We're working yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. We're working on that. So let's see if we can find a northern this time, but that was pretty good. Yep. Got one. You got a bite. Uh, I think it's another bass. It's another. I think it's another bass, Ken. Uh huh. Well, it's obvious that the fish do like this. A little smaller. A little smaller. Yep. It's almost the same size as the almost the same size as here. Oh boy, he's hooked too. Oh, well, you brought one in, Dan. Congratulations. So you've got another model, Dan? Yes. Yeah, we got the ones that they're that you're working on. It sinks. It's, okay. It doesn't float. It doesn't float like this one does. Yeah. It sinks. Okay. How deep does it go? Oh, it'll sink. It'll 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 sink. It'll it'll go as far down. Oh, okay. Oh, he's go. got one. There you got one. I don't know. What do you think? Is it a northern? I think it's a northern. Okay. Uh, it might be another bass the way it's... Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like it's a bass. I think it's another bass tent. Yeah, it's a big bass. Nice fish. Look at the size of that one, Dan. Nice big belly on that thing. Look at the size of him. There we go, guys. Yeah, there you go. A little bass fishing here. <laughs> okay, Dan, so we're using a little different uh, lure now. What do, you, what do you got on there? I've got one that we got it where it sinks. It'll sink real slow. Okay. The other one was a floater. This one sinks real slow. Okay. Still the same circular action though, right? Same action, it's just that we, we in, in our experimenting, with our experimenting with all the different lures, and with the way we made changes on it, this one here, we did the changes to where the last lure we had will float, this lure here will slowly sink, and okay. will sink real slow. Just another version of the pigtail. So let's find out whether we get a bass or a northern. Yeah, in this pond, the water, uh, the weed level is down about three feet, so we'll have to keep it close towards the surface. I don't know if you can see that through the the camera lens but the lure is coming right close to the surface just not breaking the surface at this point. It's got a nice suspended look. Boy that's You can see it out there, the shadow of it as it comes close to the surface, but it still is spinning under the water as Dan pulls it in. And I'm, I'm changing up, I'm not doing a straight retrieve, I'm doing it real slow, but it stays suspended like that. I don't think he'd appreciate it if I stuck his camera under the water to get a shot because I don't think the camera would be working after no. that. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see that there. It's spinning around. Yeah, we're still waiting for a bite on this underwater lure. Dan just pointed out to me that uh, the hooks are, are very sharp. He just felt one attack his finger. Yeah. Uh, we are using, a, or he is using a premium BMC hook on this. We use the number, he uses the number five odd hook. So it's a, a great hook on a, on a fantastic lure that has some uh, awesome action.